Hi Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom WordPress header using Elementor and a plugin by CrocBlock called JetBlocks. Well, JetBlocks doesn't have the header builder, but it has all the widgets that you need to build a header, such as nav menu, auth links, so you can redirect a user to a login page or a logout page. You can have registration forms and stuff like that. So let's see how we can do it. Let's create a template with Elementor Pro and this can also be done using Jet Theme Core but Jet Theme Core will have its own video which is the reason why I am using Elementor's Theme Builder to create a new header and I'll show you Jet Blocks with that. So I'll just click on Add New here or you can go to Header and click on Add New. I'll select Header. Let's call it Jet Blocks Custom Header and I'll click create template. I'll remove the templates. I don't need any template. We'll build the header from the scratch. I'll minimize all the panels here. All I need is jet blocks. So here in your Elementor interface, you'll see a panel called jet block. So it has all the widgets that you need to build your header. So let's create a three column header. Let's give this column a width of 60% this column a 20% width and the same with this column. Let's add nav menu to the column in the center. You don't need Elementor Pro's nav menu. You have the nav menu by JetBlocks itself. So I'll just drag it in and you need to create menu on the back end. I've already shown it a lot of times. So I'll select main menu for this tutorial. You can choose between horizontal and vertical layout. I think that's fine. You can then align the menu the way you want. Center it, align it or stretch it. Even the mobile trigger you can also arrange that. We'll customize the mobile view later, but right now we'll just focus on desktop and tablet. So here we'll just add the logo menu we've selected from JetBlocks. Logo you can take it from Elementor itself. So I just dragged in site logo. Let us give a custom width and height to our logo. So our logo is like that. Let's change the vertical alignment of this one. Now, if you don't want to use the Elementor logo, you can also use the logo that comes with the JetBlock. So I'll just drag the site logo. The only thing is that it doesn't have a width and height field, but we can adjust that. And the logo type will select image. Let's select an image for my logo. I'll select this one, which is a typical logo, 120 by 120 pixels. Now it's too big for this particular header. You can customize it, but there are no controls for it within the settings or within the style tab. So let's go to advanced. And a custom CSS, let's say selector. Remember, selector is a universal keyword to target elements within their context. So if you put it within a section, it targets a section, put it within a widget, it targets a widget, and so on. So even though this is a jet block widget, it's still an element widget. So selector would still target the logo. So within selector, I'll just specify width and I'll say 50 pixels. And just like that, the logo is scaled. You can change the value in pixels the way you want. So even without the logo's height and width adjustment, we just did that. And if you want to realign the logo within this column, just click on the column and within the horizontal align, change the options. If you want to center the logo, center it. If you want to put it at the end or maybe at the beginning, the way you want, I'll just put it at the end. Now let's add a button to this particular last column I'll drag in a button i'll say join now style i'll just change the background color to that i think that would be great i'll update this let's also change the vertical alignment of this button i'll click on the column that has this button go to vertical align i'll change it to middle i think that looks really good you can change the vertical align or horizontal align of anything you can also add breadcrumbs so if you don't like using use breadcrumbs you can also add breadcrumbs with this jet blocks widget i'll just create a single column i'll click on this i'll drag it below this see the blue outline it's positioned there i'll click on this plus button again i'll just drag this breadcrumbs so after the header the breadcrumbs is automatically listed so let's show it on the home page let's also align it onto the center path type you can select full or relative let's go to style let's uh, change the color of the breadcrumb so let's click on this any color you want let's pick some color for it you can also change the hover color and the current color of the breadcrumb so let's change the current color to something that would make sense you can also change the divider color and there are a lot of settings to tweak the breadcrumbs according to your needs since you're designing this as a part of your header Every page will have this updated breadcrumb and it will show the path related to that particular page. Breadcrumb is basically a path or a visual way of showing user how he has reached that page. So if he reads a blog post, it will show him the complete path 
from home to blog to that particular page it's more like an address to that particular page or post that he is viewing but from bread terms you also have login form and also the registration form you also have something called auth links here so let's create another column above this i'll create two columns actually and within this column you can put your auth links auth links are basically to enable users to either log in or log out from this particular link so they're authorization links and if you want to do this dynamically you can do it you can redirect him to a login page url i've shown you how to create a custom login page will i'll also make a tutorial on how to make a custom registration page later you can change all sorts of stuff you can also change the logout link and redirect him after logout also show him a register link you can also choose to show which links should appear here and also the order in which they should appear and you can all obviously change the styling of each of the individual things in here i'll just align these links onto the perfect right and that's pretty much it so apart from the widgets that you get with jet blocks you also get few extensions so these are not visible within your widgets column so i'll just click on this particular section go to advanced tab under advanced tab you have something called jet sticky this is what you get with the jet blocks plugin so you can enable the sticky header so when you scroll to the top it will become sticky and it will stay fixed you can enable it on desktop tablet and mobile you can also set a z index of the sticky section not the regular section but when the header turns sticky apart from that we've also made a video on how to add sticky effects using elementor pro and a little bit of css so if you want to shrink your logo if you want to add a background if you want to change the color of these particular links when the header turns sticky i've made a video on that link to that will be in the description but jet blocks also provides few of those settings so it says sticky section style so that means when the header turns sticky these are the properties that you can change so for instance you can add a background image and you can change the image on desktop mobile and tablet let's add this background image you can also adjust the position you can also adjust the attachment if it's too big it'll scroll with the user scrolling uh, distance you can also make it repeat so if you have a svg this is a added bonus you can also adjust the transition duration it better be less than one second i think one or 0.8 eight would be better so that the transition is not prolonged don't worry you can see the preview on your actual website so i've picked a background color as of now let's remove the background color because we've picked background image so you can either pick this one or this one if you pick both i think this one would take effect not the background image so i'll just click on update let's open up a new browser and here's my header i'll just refresh this website again now let's see the header in action so here's our breadcrumb and here's those auth links so if you pick a login page it will be redirected to that a logo or menu and a button so watch what happens when i scroll through the header turns sticky and it now gets a background image just as we specified here so i've picked an image here let's pick a color this time a similar color or let's actually pick a gradient this time and see how that looks so as i scroll through my website the header turns sticky it now has a gradient instead of background and it stays on top of all the sections because the z index of the section that we have given is 1100 i think that's more than most of the elements or you can give maybe 11,000. 11, doesn't matter so you can tweak whatever background you want to have for this you can also set the transition duration you can also add a box shadow and the last but not least thing is to reverse columns on mobile or tablet devices so when you click on tablet the tablet view looks fine but on mobile let's fix the view on mobile i'll just click this column i'll say 30% i'll click this one i'll click this column i'll say maybe 40% this one and uh, another 30% now we have all three in here but usually you want the menu on the left or the right side of your screen right so what can you do to do that there's something called column order so pick the view that you want mobile tablet or device and here just specify a number so we want the column to appear after the button so we'll give this a column order of three column order of two and even without giving anything this column is reversed on mobile you can also do the same on tablet devices so that's how it works let's actually stretch this button a bit let's increase it to 50 percent so here i've picked the mobile trigger alignment i was actually looking for other menu alignment i think menu would be better off on the right you can adjust these values if you don't need anything you can click on this go to advanced and under responsive you can simply hide it so you can hide this particular section on desktop on tablet or mobile devices as you can see here so that's a quick overview of jet blocks and how to build custom headers and also apply sticky effects without writing a single piece of code of course for the logo we just wrote a single line of code 
that's not a big deal but that's not it before leaving i want to sh show you few more things that you can do with jet sticky headers with help of a little bit of css as you can see the jet sticky offers to change the background color background type and all that stuff but it doesn't offer any way to change the color of the links when the background color is changed to scale the logo maybe to do anything else when the header turns sticky so for that we need css you need to find what is the class that gets added when the header turns sticky so if you can find that we can target that class when the header turns sticky and then put some code in it similar to what we did in the sticky header sticky header effects tutorial so this is the header when it turns sticky i'll just right click on it i'll click on inspect element you can do it in chrome mozilla or anything and this is the section as you can see here the section that has this particular menu button and stuff like that so watch what happens as i scroll and the section turns sticky there is a new class called jet sticky section stuck that gets added watch again watch this thing so under the classes section you can see there are a lot of classes for this particular section but watch what happens as I scroll back jet sticky section stuck is deleted from the class list when the header turns sticky you can see jet sticky section stuck so we'll use this particular class to target the sticky jet header make sense don't worry i'll share the code i just wanted to show you the class name i'll double click on it i'll get this particular class i'll show you how to target this when the header turns sticky so you can click on this section we'll go to custom css again if you don't have elementor pro you can install master add-ons custom css so we'll say selector which will target this particular section dot and we'll paste the class name so this is the class when the jet header turns sticky right so within that i want to scale the logo and logo is usually an image so you can simply target it by images it will target all the images in this section but since i only have a logo a single image i can say image or you need to find the class of the logo and target it img will do it will do what we say so i'll say width and i'll limit it to 40 pixels so essentially when the header turns sticky it was initially 50 pixels wide when the header turns sticky i'll make it 40 pixels wide you can also make it uh, shrink it further you can also change the links again the same class again when the section turns sticky this is the class that's being added and then we'll leave a space and say a which stands for the links so menu is essentially a collection of links we'll just say a so when the header turns sticky or when the jet header turns sticky we'll change the menu links color to white or any color that you want same class again and now when the header turns sticky i'll hide this button and this button is essentially an elementor button so the class for that is elementor button so you can say display none or visibility hidden i'll just say background color blue for now so when the header turns sticky the button's background color is also changed this is some of the common web patterns that you see i'll share this code in the description this is all you need to remember when the header turns sticky or when the jet header turns sticky this is the class jet sticky section stuck is the class that's being added via javascript you don't have to understand that i'll update now let's preview our header so this is our website watch what happens when the header turns sticky just like that the background is changed the links color is changed logo is shrinked as you can see here and even the buttons background is changed all by using css that we mentioned here but this is a sudden change and if you want a transition all you say at the beginning is selector so selector would essentially target this section since you're putting this in the section itself just say transition also add all sorts of uh, prefixes such as mouse transition and stuff like that we've done transitions a lot of times just say all let's take 0.4 seconds for our transitions and let's specify the ease in out so even while the transition is being applied and when it's released the ease animation is applied i'll update now let's update the website i'll update or reload the website again to see those effects in action let's watch the header in action now and just like that all the effects are applied a subtle transition is applied as well even the logo shrinks to the amount that we specified the links color is changed code will be in the description that's a quick overview of JetBlocks and you can do great things with this plugin. Links to everything will be in the description. You can get CrocBlock from the link in the description if you wish to. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Find the CSS code in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one. Until then, peace.